welcome to our today's do it yourself topic tips on how to generate ideas and make idea creation your natural habit and ha have great fun while practicing and mastering the skill to overcome your business professional and personal challenges for real value addition to this topic please focus only on the content kindly ignore my lacunas in pronunciation tone expression accent grammar my looks and even this video background for the content of this video please ask and if you want to learn about any specific topic please let me know Mastering this art and skill is about fine tuning the basics. This art of idea generation, this art of being creative, this art of being innovative. And it comes down to making the following 60, 57 your habit and part of your nature. The easiest way to come up with business ideas is to solve the problems you're facing in newer and different ways. The second easiest is to solve problems that you observe others have. And when others, and also when others approach you for your help in solving the problems. Please understand that these problems don't have to be big problems. And the solutions doesn't have to be something which will make you world famous in instantaneously. Every small obstacle that you overcome every small bottleneck that you solve adds to your creativity this art and skill needs practice to become better and better at identifying problems and solving them and finding solutions for them because both is both are important identifying the right problems and identifying the right solutions and making it better focus on your big own big frustrations is a great way to cultivate and inculcate this skill and habit and if you can solve this nagging issue which is making you frustrated and if this is something which is a big irritant for a sizable chunk of people then you might have found a great business idea as well researching is a genuine key to find whether there is any product service or person which can solve your problem along with the ideas of course trying out something that indians call jugad it is jugad is one of the most famous way of course sometimes it's not safe when you're using jugad to create parts when they're not available but it is wonderful concept it is creating or repairing or solving the problems without spending a lot yet which works well sometimes jugad can be permanent one sometimes jugad can be temporary Wonderful insights can come from challenges the industry or business you are in are facing. Try solving it first, just for the fun of it, even if you are not at that level where you will be heard. Suggest the solutions. <clears throat> Solve issues that may become problems for others in future. Like in the new normal world of Corona, COVID-19, lots of things will change and newer changes will keep happening on an everyday basis. Create products by adapting your value proposition to the evolving needs of the people, societies and businesses and services and also which satisfy your innate desires of name, fame, recognition, being unique. Generate ideas or create products and services that save people money, effort, time, energy and many nuisances that we would like to avoid and which make people's life a lot easier. Or create something that makes unpleasant tasks and chores fun. Turn your unique hobby or skills into a business opportunity. In Corona, a lot of people have done that. A lot of people are making huge lot of money besides getting satisfaction. Copy and improve others' existing idea. Copying is not bad. Borrow from different and unrelated businesses and industries and customize for your scenario. If you can't come up with the best way, research what would the exact opposite like. Instead of attracting customers, you're not getting ideas for how to attract customers. Identify what could be the worst way to lose a customer forever and then find ways to retain them for a long time using those take baby steps always moving forward and always towards your goals even if it means stepping into unknown instead of running one big brainstorming sessions 
form numerous group of few people and give all the group the same problem to work on. Then you will get multiple independent perspective. Fill your days with schedule, fun and relaxing time. This is very important. When you are either, uh, I mean, to meditate or think freely on the ideas or do something that makes your frame stretch or just to re relax. Exercise a lot physically. Find newer ways of exercising. If you are very busy, find different time. But you must exercise. You spend time in nature. You spend time in nature in the early morning. Face your fears, feel the fear and do it, and then take the action in what makes you scared to challenge your self-doubt. Use the process of first generating, identifying and collecting ideas. When you are collecting, generating, identifying ideas, never think about what will work and what won't. And then start challenging each idea to test its practical quality and viability. Try to do more in less time. This is a creative way. Create your own deadline that thrills you but does not overwhelm and terrifies you. Use lesser resources to complete the task without lowering the standards. Learn some new techniques, tools, skills from others by observing or through formal learning. Collaborate with others who have some skills that they are expert in but you are not. Make a list of your top five interests or passions, then identify what things you would like to go to create a legacy. Identify your current skills and strength and also identify the future skills which would be needed in the immediate future. Collect as many ideas and test drive each idea. Seek the help of external counsel and experts whenever you get stuck or if you get the opportunity, talk to them, find out their perspective. Ask people for ideas who have never been in your field and do not have any expertise, knowledge, experience, exposure of your field about the problems you're facing and how they, they would solve it. You will be surprised with the newness of the ideas and the practicality of it. Leave what you're doing when you get stuck and go and do something else. And after some time, come back to this problem. Be prepared to walk away from a problem after you're you have tried through extended deadlines and given your 100% and tried all the ideas. Stop fighting the idea uh, block. Take a walk. Distract yourself by doing mindless tasks or something that interests you and then come back again. Just jump in whatever actions comes to your mind. Ask yourself these few questions. What are the options? If you face any challenge, what are the options? What are the possible outcomes of each of the options? How will this outcome impact you and those around you? Which option make you feel the most and least stressed? Why does a particular option stresses you? Is that stress worth the potential outcome? And once you have the answer, you will have some way you are totally stuck. Brainstorm while you exercise while you walk, while you sit in the toilet. Sitting in the toilet, I get a lot of good ideas. If possible, crowdsource your challenge through online to connect with creative people. Identify and combine opposite ideas to come up with radically different ones. Ask new questions. Ask stupid, foolish and silly questions. Focus more on what you can do and what is within your area of control rather than depending on others or something to happen before you can get going. Ask yourself following few questions to clarify which outcomes you want and which you will avoid. Bad ideas and no implementation, is that what you want? Weak idea and weak implementation? Good idea, good execution. Weak idea, good execution. Amazing idea, amazing execution. When you decide something, of course it is obvious. Try to find ways. Allow yourself to be more vulnerable. Let your weaknesses and flaws be known and then accept yourself fully while working on life-harming habits beliefs and thought process. Let go of perfection. Let yourself fail by stretching beyond your current capabilities. Focus on excellence. Excellence and qualities are the hallmark of idea generation. Stop bothering about other people and don't get discouraged when others ridicule you. Prevent getting overwhelmed by information overload. In nowadays, 
information comes in gigabytes learn how to sort and organize the information you have seek only that information which will make you take actions easily a micro keep the macro in the background capture ideas when they come because ideas vanish when the ideas come we feel okay we'll never forget but you will find after a couple of hours you've lost the thread so capture ideas make a note share your ideas take chance to get ridiculed by others look at your competition look outside your industry they are all the source of high highly creative ideas disrupt your routine patterns and habits release the pressure by doing something meaningless time to time just for fun indulge in your fantasies this is one most wonderful give into your impulses eat junk or do something or do nothing or watch and play mindless games for a limited time then bounce back if you can practice even half of these 57 58 points you will find you have become very productive and highly creative